guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to start work on a gourd table lamp. And um, it's going to take a little while. We've got a lot to cover, so I might break this up into two videos. But we've got a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Okay, for one of the, the first steps that you're going to need to do is pick out a good lamp base. And there are all kinds of them on the market. There's wooden ones, and there's ones that are even bigger, and I think maybe there might be one or two or a little smaller. But this is the first time I've used this particular kind, and um, I went ahead and I tested it. I wanted to make sure it didn't get too warm. Um, for those of you who follow the channel, you know that this past summer we grew some really really big gourds and um, the ones that I'm actually working out of this year in my crafting are ones that we grew the year before because it can take so long to get them dried out so I don't have any really really big gourds to work with right now but I have some of these really pretty ones and um, I tested this out because some of my gourds are a little smaller and I did buy a smaller size but I did test it out to make sure it didn't get too warm so you could have confidence about leaving it on for a while. And uh, anyway, I tested it for about an hour, a little over an hour, and it barely even got warm. But I'm going to turn this on for a second so it's kind of a bright light warning. But you can see they do get pretty bright. But they don't hardly get hot at all it's just barely warm and I don't know if you can see it but you can see all the little LEDs in it but this is a two and a half inch base and what you need to do first is to make sure of where that light is going to sit on the inside of your gourd you don't want it way up here in the neck where it's really thin you want a nice big open spot so it gets enough ventilation and um, I'm going to break this probably into two videos, so tomorrow um, I'll show you. I'm going to drill holes and stuff in it to um, let the light shine through. But you do want to make sure that you're going to be sitting in the fatter part of the gourd. And this is actually going to be up further like this, and it's going to set in the center of that big wide spot. But... The next thing you need to do is locate one of these. Now, it took me a while to find mine because I haven't used it in a while. And I have a tendency to put something away to keep it safe and then never see it again. But I did find it. Um, I set it to um, an inch and a quarter. That would be just the one radius. So when you use it, and draw it out it's actually a two and a half inch circle but what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna probably put a break in here so I can get the Dremel out and I'm gonna cut this out and um, but I'm gonna put a break in here that way Mark can speed it up so you don't have to watch you know every little tiny bit of it in slow motion but I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna get out some stuff and I'm gonna get the inside cleaned out good so there's there's nothing in there to worry about at all. So give me just a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, and that is exactly why you wear protective eyewear and a mask. You can see all the dust that this produced. And I'm pretty sure you caught the fact that my little sandpaper came apart. But I always have it back up. 
Okay, and there's all the wonderful seeds that came out of it. So we're definitely going to keep those. But, now, if you can see up in there, that's going to require a little clean out. So, give me a minute and I'll get this cleaned up a bit so we can get in there and get the rest of that cleaned out. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've started getting up in there and cleaning it. But I don't use anything special. There's all kinds of things that you can buy um, to do this. But I actually never got around to getting one of the ones that you use with a drill. But I usually just put a Brillo pad in the end of a pair of scissors. And you can use sandpaper or just about anything you want. You can look up in there and see it's really nice and clean and you can see just how thick the wall is on that gourd so that would be a really fun one to use but on the inside of the gourds there's a lot of this dried paper like stuff and you definitely want to make sure that you get all of that out and you can buy some of the fancy tools and stuff to do it or you can just do it really simple but let me get this cleaned up and then we'll come back and we'll see if that base fits. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Does the base fit? It fits on there just perfect. Okay, um, now... I'm going to start, I've got all of my dies and all of my bits and stuff sitting out here. So tomorrow I'm going to start decorating it. But I'm sure there will probably be a question um, if you want to glue the base on or not. This is actually a bulb and it is replaceable. So I don't know that I want to glue it all the way down. I just want it to sit on there. But, I'm going to start getting ready. And it probably also wouldn't help to turn the light on because I haven't actually drilled any holes in it yet. But, um, I'm going to start getting ready to get this carved up tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take a little while and I'm going to think my way through it. And I'm going to decide what kind of design I want to put on it. Um, might do a little wood burning, but I'm definitely going to do some carving. And I have all of my inks out and I have all of the applicators are in here and I've got a set of diamond tip bits and there's all different kinds in there but we'll cover all of that tomorrow. Okay I'll just put back up. Okay, well that was a lot of fun and we're all cleaned out and we're ready to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here for now. And that's all there is to it. But I'll be back to talk to you in just a minute. Okay, so that's all the footage that I have for today. And I know there's going to be questions about how my hand is healed up. But I had no trouble and no pain with working with the Dremel. So... Um, tomorrow we're going to do quite a bit more. But um, I hope you stick around and see what, what else I do to this. Um, it's going to take me a little while and I'm going to be thinking on it. But um, playing with gourds and carving gourds and making fun things out of them is probably the most fun for me. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a whole lot of fun. And um, tomorrow... 
we'll do all the decorating and everything, and I'll I'll try my best to get it all into one video. That way we don't end up making a series that's really too long. But um, as always. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It will let you know when we have new videos out. And don't forget to leave any comments or questions. And like we usually say, um, we answer everything and we read everything. And if we have an answer for you, good. And if we don't, we will find you one. But I've got a lot of planning and stuff to do, so I should probably get out of here. And as always, love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.